Well, guys, look over there. There is a jellyfish. Even though the jellyfish has died, it is still dangerous. This is because its tentacles, which are equipped with nematocysts, contain poison and still sting even when they are dead. This is a hermit crab. The hermit crab will shed its old shell and make its body unable to move for some time, as if it were dead. Even though they are small, hermit crabs actually have quite a long lifespan, you know. Hermit crabs in the wild can live for 30 years. It has a transparent body. This is a dugong. Dugongs do have quite a long lifespan and can live around 60 to 70 years. Unlike their manatee cousins which often live in both fresh and salt water, dugongs only live in salt water habitats. There is an octopus. Most octopuses live on the sea floor, but some often swim closer to the surface. A solitary animal, octopuses usually live alone, sometimes in nests they build out of rocks, sometimes in their shells that rest on top of themselves. This is puffer fish. Several species of fish have unique ways of protecting themselves, one of which is the puffer fish. Puffer fish avoid predator attacks by inflating their bodies until they are very round like a ball. Wow, this is starfish. Starfish are invertebrates that belong to the phylum Echinodermida and belong to the class Asteroidea. This marine animal is a source of bioactive compounds and has antioxidant, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory activity and many more. This is a blue spotted ray. The blue spotted stingray is not reef compatible, and so it needs sand as the substrate, because if any coarser is used it can scratch the underside of the fish, and that can lead to infection. Well guys, look over there. There is lobster. Freshwater lobsters live in rivers, lakes, ponds. Sea lobsters live in salt water. However, both of them inhabit the bottom of the water and like to lurk under rocks or coral, as well as gaps in the bottom full of mud. This is Gurnard fish. Gurnard's fish feed on worms and crustaceans. The lowest three spines of the pectoral fin are separated and used to probe the seabed for hidden prey. They look a bit like legs and can give the impression that the red Gurnard is walking. This is a moray eel. Moray eels can be found in tropical and subtropical waters, although the largest of the species live in coral reefs and warm waters. They live at depths of several meters. Some of them also live in estuaries. There is crab. Crabs are not predators, so they don't need to move quickly to catch prey. To protect themselves, crabs only need to bury themselves in mud or sand. There is a clownfish. Of the nearly 30 species of clownfish, there are two types commonly referred to as the orange clownfish, Amphiprion percula and Amphiprion ocellaris. The percula clownfish is distinguished by its vivid orange color and white bands outlined in black. This is garfish. Alligator fish can grow up to 3 meters long and weigh up to 350 pounds. This fish, which has the scientific name Spatula atractosteus, has nothing to do with alligators. This is gulper eel. Gulper eels have tiny eyes, which is unusual for deep sea creatures. Bioluminescence might also be used to attract a mate. Scientists believe gulper eels die soon after mating. Well guys, look. This is ammonite. Ammonites were the predators of their time, feeding on most living marine creatures including mollusks, fish and even other cephalopods. 
By analogy to modern cephalopods, their method of attack probably consisted of silently stalking their prey, then rapidly extending their tentacles to grasp the target. This is squid! All squid have a tube-shaped body, a fully developed head, and ten long arms shaped like suction cups. These hands are useful for trapping prey and then tearing it apart using its strong jaws. There is a stingray! Unlike sharks, almost all ray species are ovoviviparous. Stingrays reproduce by laying eggs and giving birth. The stingray embryo will grow inside the egg and will give birth when the time is right. This is manta ray. Manta rays also swim by moving their wings up and down, like birds in flight. These wing-shaped fins help them explore the waters and also help in finding food. This is dolphin. These dolphins have complex neurons that lead to self-awareness and recognizing and solving problems. For example, dolphins are able to play with games, solve puzzles, tools, and so on. This is blue whale. Blue whales are the largest animals ever to live on our planet. They feed almost exclusively on krill, straining huge volumes of ocean water through their baleen plates, which hang from the roof of the mouth and work like a sieve. There is spotted eagle ray. The spotted eagle ray usually eats fish, crustaceans, such as crabs, shrimp and hermit crabs, it also eats mollusks such as bivalves, sea snails and octopus. Spotted eagle rays have special teeth for crushing shelled mollusks. Well guys, look over there. This is manta ray. Manta rays also swim by moving their wings up and down, like birds in flight. These wing-shaped fins help them explore the waters and also help in finding food. This is hammerhead shark. Hammerhead sharks are one of the predators that rely on electricity to detect their prey. The use of electricity allows the hammerhead shark to attack repeatedly even if its vision is obscured by blood or mud. This is a decapodiform or- Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. This is lemon shark. Lemon sharks are not very brightly colored. They are more of a tawny color, giving them a muddy appearance. This makes them perfectly colored to match the sandy bottom of the environment in which they hunt. This is Mosasaurus. The size of the Mosasaurus has been debated for years, after it was first discovered in 2021. The agreed length is around 15m and the weight is 10 tons, but this is debatable because there are no complete fossils that reach that size. Thank you for watching guys.